It's Jav Reach coming to you live and alive from the city of Jav Reach. A blessing most definitely. I'm grateful to be coming to you today. You know, the world seems to have gone crazy. Those are the words most speak while having a conversation when they refer to what's taking place in the world today. Unfortunately, arguably, most would agree with that comment because we look at the coronavirus, for example, that have taken the lives of over 20,000 people already and still counting and over 50,000 infected. We look at the murdering in most third world countries. It's, it has skyrocketed. We look at protesters being beaten. We look at countries being bombed by other more powerful countries. These are all happening recent and currently. We look at the divorce rate. We look at neighbors being violent with each other. We look at husbands and wives having conflicts when it comes, when it comes to disciplining the kids. Or even if the kids should be disciplined. So unfortunately, we live in a time where it's so violent and unpredictable. You have people taking their children to court. You have children taking their parents to court, uh, filing lawsuits. You have the, the, the police taking bribes. You have the police who are supposed to serve and protect, you have them literally trying to put innocent people behind bars and telling them comments like, let the judge decide. So this, unfortunately, is a transparent time that we live in. How do we get away from such events? How do we avoid such conflicts? How do we not participate and become a victim or fall victim to such times? How do we swerve becoming part of the statistics? I want to share with you today a Bible verse that may help shine some light on this perspective and possibly answer that same question. Second Timothy chapter 3 from verse 1 to 5 says... But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous. Without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, 
having a form of godliness but denying its power have nothing to do with such people. Now, the last sentence says, have nothing to do with such people. The beginning says, but mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. And the final sentence says, so verse 5 says, have nothing to do with such people. I want to encourage you today that if you know such people, and even if one of those persons is in the mirror, when you look into the mirror, I want to encourage you to pray for that person. I want to encourage you to stand in the gap for that person. And if there's any terminology that I used in this broadcast today that you don't comprehend fully, I want to encourage you to Google it or search it on whatever search engine you use and edify and educate yourself in this regard. I want to take some time and pray for you today. And you don't have to do much. All you have to do is listen and agree with me. I say amen in the end. I'm praying. Father God, I thank you for this opportunity to bring your word that was embedded in my spirit to the one that is listening, the one that is seeking answers, the one that is seeking validation, the one that's seeking a cause, a reason to not give up. The one that needs supernatural insight and a strategy to remind themselves that life is still worth living. Suicide is not the answer. Addictions is not the answer. My God. I pray, Lord God Jesus, that some answer and some strategy was given in this message today. And I cancel every plan of the enemy against the life. I, I, I understand it's an unjust world. But I know there is great reward for those who abide by your word. And I pray for every individual that is within the sound of my voice right now. I declare and decree that life is better. They're protected. They're covered in your blood. They have answers. They have strategies. Their minds have been renewed. In your almighty name, I pray, Lord God Jesus. Amen. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a blessing, as usual. Please find me everywhere at Jaff Reads, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Check out my podcast. I'm everywhere. And also... Do me a huge favor, follow, like, share, comment, and don't keep the message to yourself. Please share it with someone else. Salute, Kaba.